Which of these three playroom storage disasters are cluttering up your space right now? I'm Evelyn the Toy Tamer. I see tons of playrooms. I see the same storage disasters over and over. The reason is they don't work the way a child's mind works. They work the way an adult's mind works. And that's great if the adult wants to be the one picking up the playroom, but you don't. So don't buy these. And if you have them, get rid of them. The first one is slanted storage. You know the ones, they come with Paw Patrol, they come with blue and gray, they come in pink and white. They look cute. They have little bins set at a storage, at a slanted, and they don't work. It's telling the kids to dump the toys out. We don't want that. The second, similar, is slanted, but they're big, they're heavy, they're bulky. They're usually sold by Pottery Barn, and they are like almost like bottomless pit toy boxes. They're small, but they have a slanted front, and things go in, they never come out. Again, you don't want that. If a kid can't see their toys, you're not going to play with them. And the third thing that I see all the time that is just basically a really big mistake is covered bins. You never want to put a bin in that has a lid on it because a lid is something that's going to make it difficult to get the toys out. More importantly, it's going to make it impossible for the kids to put the toys away. So if you have any of these useless storage items in your playroom, get them out of there. You'll have a better playroom. And if you want the perfect playroom, give the Toy Tamer a call. That's exactly what we do.